Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking about predicting the average BMI across groups of individuals. My name is Michaela Schultz. First of all, what is BMI or body mass index? BMI is a measure of body fat. The formula is kilograms per meter squared, where kilograms measures a person's weight and meters measures their height. There are controversies with using BMI to measure levels of obesity because it does not measure body fat directly. Specifically, BMI measurements cannot distinguish between body fat and muscle. Many different variables also affect BMI, such as genetics, age, or sex. However, due to its easy calculation, doctors and researchers still use this measure universally. This allows both to classify whether individuals are at high, low, or no risk when it comes to weight-related health problems. The motivation for this research project came from an article titled BMI for Age Graphs with Severe Obesity Percentile Curves. This paper included graphs with lines that mark different levels of obesity. The graph on the left includes data points for females, while the graph on the right includes male data. The graphs plotted data points that reflected individuals' BMI based off of their age. This research was extended to focus on how other variables relate to BMI. So, the research question is, considering all the different variables that affect BMI, which variables can help understand differences in BMI among different groups of people? Data used for this research was obtained from the Integrated Public Use Microdata Series website, or IPMS for short. Once data was obtained from IPMS, it needed to be processed in a way that made it usable for analysis. Variables first considered were age, sex, race, poverty level, health status, income level, usual place of health care, and activity level. Some methods used in the data cleaning process included methods to combine variables, code for missing data, and fix overlapping variables. The data cleaning process took a while to finalize, however, after a final model was selected. Backward elimination was used to remove non-significant variables. Due to the interpretability issues with such a large model, a decision was made to stick with four main variables and their significant interactions. The four final variables are age with a quadratic term, sex, race, and poverty level. In this model, Y hat is a predicted BMI. According to the results, about 9.24% of the variability in the predicted BMI can be explained by these variables which means that 90% of the variability is explained by other variables, such as genetics, activity level, or nutrition. Being able to visualize the predictions in the model allows for easier comparisons. Data visualization was made using the ggplot2 package in RStudio. Graphs were created that allowed faceting by certain variables. This graph is faceted by race and sex and colored by poverty level. The goal is to show how poverty level changes between sex and race. Some interesting conclusions can be made here. First, the general trend shows average BMI to be increasing across all groups. Also, it's important to note that compared to all other race levels, Asians on average have slightly lower BMIs. Further, for all groups except the multiple race category, individuals who are below the poverty line tend to have higher average BMIs than individuals who are above the poverty line. However, at around age 17 or 18, this trend reverses, so individuals who are above the poverty line begin to have higher average BMIs. In this case, the multiple race category has fewer, fewer data points, which is why the trends do not hold true for this race level. Interactive visualizations were made using the Shiny package in R to create an application that allows users to choose to compare BMI estimates between groups. Users can choose their inputs on the left-hand side, and based off of the inputs, the outputs are reflected on the right-hand side. According to the inputs on the left, this graph is faceted by poverty line and sex and colored by race. The goal here is to analyze how BMI varies depending on race and sex. If one of the inputs change, the graph that appears in the output is different, which reflects a different research question. Future extensions of this research include exploring variables other than age, sex, race, and poverty level to see how they affect the average BMIs of groups of individuals. Also, another idea is to use a different data set other than IPMS. As far as the R Shiny app, there are many ways to continue adding on features. 
it would be interesting to add confidence interval lines to the estimates to allow the user to see a range of values the average predicted BMI could take. Also, this app could be used for viewing two separate profiles to compare on one graph, which would allow for better individual comparisons. Thank you.